This is the first video on linear stress, uh, namely tension and compression. And just to kind of give us a little bit of background on what stress literally is, um, stress from an equation point is going to be force over area. That is stress. Now this is just a tensin, tensile or a, or a compressive stress. Um, usually when this is positive, the uh, standard convention says that that would be tension and a negative value would be compression. However, it's interchangeable as long as you just state, make it obvious which way you're going with it. Um, kind of give us a little picture to associate this with. If we were to kind of look at maybe a beam of some sorts, and this beam is handling a certain load. Excuse my drawing. Um, one consideration would be, first of all, the force that is being applied to the said beam and also the surface area or the cross-sectional area I should say of where the force applies is being applied to so the force is actually traveling through this beam through the cross-section of it so it's almost like if you were literally to take a bar and cut it and that's what we refer to as the cross-section cross-sectional area so anyway Knowing this, uh, we need to let, let's look at a, just a quick example, uh, which will give us, which will be really just encasing three examples. And let's do that real quick. So starting off with this example, you have your uh, your ceiling, and then you have maybe a, a cylinder that's six inches in diameter and then right here which is four inches in diameter then it gets smaller to two inches in diameter and from that let's just say that there's an applied mm, hundred pounds So just to kind of give us some labels here so we can organize our thoughts. This will be A, this will be B, and this will be C. Now you can realize that the force is applied to all bodies A, A, B, and C. It travels literally from one body to the next. So we know that force a equals force B equals force C which equals 100 pounds this is this is a for sure thing that we know however seeing that the diameters of each of these cylinders changes from 6 inches to 4 to 2 you can see that the stress will change within them. Let's start off with A. If I were to look at the surface area, the area of A, it's going to be pi over 4 diameter squared, which will be 6 inches squared. Just solving that for us, it's going to be about 28.8 to seven inches squared and if I do calculate this for us equals a hundred over twenty eight point two seven which equals about three point uh, five four psi pounds per square inch 
So this is your stress at A, tensile stress. Moving on, we have our area at B, which is going to follow the same principles, the same equations, except it's going to be 4 squared, which the area is then equal to 12.57 inches squared. To calculate the stress at B, we just do 100 over 12.57, which is equal to 7.96 PSI. And that's at B. Continuing even further to our final cross-sectional area, cross-sectional area C, which is going to be pi over 4, once again, 2 squared, which that surface area is going to equal, or cross-sectional area is going to equal 3.14 inches squared, which when we calculate that out, 100 over 3.14, which equals 31.83 PSI. Anyway, um, I hope you're able to kind of just pull through and, and see what exactly I'm discussing here. It's very basic concept and it's one of the areas that I really enjoyed during my time at school. Anyway, I hope you guys have a nice day and uh, leave any comments.